On today's episode of Moto Cheese. I know, I know. Two years later, right? Well, it's going to happen. Finally going to pull this out and get part two going. Well, we're waiting. Well, I gotta clean her all up again, just like in part one. Don't take long when you park it under a tree. I bet the floors are still solid though. We got firewood. Firewood. I was just gonna put a couple benches there, a new one of these. And leave the whole front open for if you want to just put anything that's got to come out i gotta patch this hole and then that hole this was a cooler but shit, you could set a tent up here huh look at all this floor all space so much with aerobics in here so many activities it's making my head spin how many activities we can do ah, it feels like i gotta start back from scratch i finally got that thing knocked over so there's no bees in it look at this those mice back in the engine. Gee, it's just like when I bought it. Floor is still pretty solid. You know what boat stands for? Break out another thousand. Okay. 91. I have eight feet, but I don't think I want to use the whole eight feet. I think I'm going to rebuild that. That right, stuff gets in there. It's amazing, the floor is still pretty solid. I'll eventually have to do it, but it's good for a few more years. It cleaned up pretty good. So we're just going to take everything off this box. And these corners are aluminum. Keep that top and just make another frame for the bottom and put it back in. Which one you on this one? Probably put these all together and then we know they go together, huh? Huh, it's gonna go. Down there. And then I gotta cut a notch for this. That's for the power trim. Maybe I just snip them. And then I can just wire them back together by the same color if I can. It's only for the trim anyway. I don't really give a shit. Look at that. Huh. Now we got to take that fuse panel off. And then just fold it back here and this whole thing will come off. Everything else is off. There. Now this whole thing should lift off, right? Oh yeah, look at that mess. Tie it up like that, huh? There, we can drive this some bitch just like that. Put the steering wheel back on. Not too shabby. Oh, found a penny. Rich yutch. That's not even straight. You notice that? That's straight, but that's not. <laughs> there. Now we're good. Ah, oh, this is second rug. You see that? That's why it's just still in good shape. I guess that's also why they bolted that board on crooked. 
run to Home Depot and get some block, and some plywood. Mini truck lost their smile on the road, on the highway. I gotta make another one. Off to Home Depot. Grind them gears. <laughs> Hello. We are a big truck. Damn right. So I'm gonna park right here. It's got enough bow in it to make a boat by itself. How much is that a block? Dollar ninety six. Yeah. All right. That should do her, huh? What do you have? 2 by 8 by 8 by 16. Got them all. Okay, oh, guy. got a shirt. <laughs> Mini truck's got a load. Good job, Mini Mini. Yep, me and Motor Rider got it on blocks now. Motor Rider and I. Motor Rider and I. Big deal, you got your grade 12 now. The thing with me is that I am smart and I'm smart, I'm self smarted. Got the pallets out. Kinda clean. Kinda. It'll take several stages of cleaning, that's for sure. <laughs> Might have to put like a flat piece and then make make a custom thing because they're pretty big radius there oh yeah look at that guess we're gonna rebuild that some bitch because it's got aluminum curves on the inside we'll just remake that recover it now look at her oh yeah yeah someone definitely doctored this up once before they just wrapped this around it made these brackets because there's the original color rug too see wonder if i could save this for them holes up front Wow. <laughs> this, it was the length of this. Wow. All the way to there. So from there. There's one. Right? That's the exact length. No power tools. What? No power tools. No. That is not your toothbrush. There's one. Yeah, we're gonna do one at a time. One side. One side. Screw her in. The mini truck is the best workbench.
and uh, he's like, license registration. So that's how far I got on the center console, boys. I gotta cut my door in the back for access for the fuse panel. Cut for my controls. I gotta put my pressure treated board on the bottom where it bolts down. And then I think we're pretty golden. Then cover it with my vinyl, the top on it, and bolt it in. I think I'm gonna make a square door. Time to take the plunge. Love the battery tools. Because after I put material on there, I might have to shave this down. Maybe. Where's the mouse? Oh, worthless. What good are you? Well, I can get a socket on that one now. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh that'd be nice, wouldn't it? No, there's a shifter. Runs up inside that. Huh. It smells like paint. Yeah. You smell it? He who smelt it dealt it. Definitely, I might have a prop for this in the back. My old boat parts. I think I looked for lower units used for this when I when I first got it. And they're out there, but if I can rebuild it, I'll rebuild it instead. That seal right there is bad. We got to get to the water impeller to change that anyway, so that's got to come off. Too bad that seal couldn't be pressed in from the outside. I have to look. I got a whole reseal kit. You know what ruins these seals? The biggest thing that ruins these seals? Fishing line. It gets wrapped up and gets stuck behind there. No joke. I could probably change that seal without taking the whole thing apart. Oh man, that would be awesome. Because there's no play on the bearing. If that's it, that's that's the one that's leaking. Oh yeah, that fucker's on there. Good. <clears> hmm. <throat> I'm going to put a swivel socket and impact back and forth. That's going to break. Get a quarter inch with a swivel. That's coming. Did I get it? No, it's just got to go a little more. Oh, it's out. So drop it. I don't know where to. Nice and slowly. Oh, yeah. There she is. That's it. Yeah. Oh, there's another rubber seal there. Double rubber. Just in case. You see how this works? You ever see how an outboard gets its water? This is like a water pump. There's an impeller in there that sucks the water from here as it's driving. And then it pumps it up through the motor and then it comes and mixes it with the exhaust. And then it comes back out through the exhaust and then through the prop, through the center of the prop, so it doesn't cavitate. Definitely going to do some never seize on all these bolts, clean them up. Might not be too bad. These, when they get old, 
you gotta watch it too because these will strip out but they will wear out I've seen it not bad though because that goes right up into the power head that's for the two and a half that little outboard motor I got <laughs> look at the difference that's a big difference 40 horse two and a half horse Uh, we tried removing the gear case, all the gears out of it. That was all seized up, which I kind of suspected. So I decided just to change the outer seals that I could get to. Ordered a new kit, so that'll be in the next video. Hmm. Huh, look at that. Finally got that off, but I had to use a slide hammer. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.